Thank you for joining me as we continue our sharing and the team growing in the Lord. Today I want to share with you one obstacle that prevents us from growing in the Lord. I will share with you from Acts of the Apostles chapter 17 and please look at verse 28 and it says uh, that he did this so that he might seek the deity and by feeling in their way towards him succeed in finding him and indeed he is not far from us from any of us since it is in him that we live move and exist st paul um, was in athens and he went to the arpegos in this pagan city and he noticed that they had many altars set, set up to ver various gods and there also um, was assigned to an unknown god an altar set up there. Um, so we have in a strings of God, and all of them had their names and address. But there is this one, just in case they didn't do homage to a particular God, they call it the unknown God. And St. Paul said, this is the God I present to you in Christ Jesus. In fact, he's right there. He's near to you. He, and, and, and he is there to you so that you can experience and feel his presence. My name is Father Viber Stevens, and I'm from the Roman Catholic Diocese of Bridgetown here in Barbados. My dear friends, one of the obstacles we have can be identified quite easily. Now we will say that the great obstacle is the obstacle of sin. And sin, as you know, things that we do wrong take us away from God, but it is also um, what we omit to do and not do, that is right. And also, uh, so, uh, we say to ourselves, how is it so many people are experiencing God and speaking so powerful about God and as though there is nothing happening to me, that God is far from me, that God has forgotten me. And we wonder what sin we have committed. And then we start to rearrange our lives to do things to please God. We think that if we become more loving, we think that if we become um, more kind and so on, God will look with favor on us and we will have a presence, an experience of his presence. And so, like the other people who are receiving their blessings from God, we will also receive our blessing. Now, this is so far from the truth, but this is things that we are taught from so, so small, from babies, we have been taught that we have to be good. Now, then when things doesn't happen, we become disappointed and then we want to know if it is our ancestors that commit a sin long ago, our parents and so on, right down to how many generations, because Genesis, um, the, the, the Old Testament speaks about this, causes to the generation um, from Moses in Exodus and so on, and even Deuteronomy. All of this I say, Christ has broken those curses and those barriers through your baptism and you must believe it. But we find it difficult and we need healing in that, those areas um, to Get rid of this from our minds. So, you try to do things to please God. Now, I want to say, we do, there is nothing we can do to please God. There is nothing we can see. No sacrifice, none of these things. You know why? Because St. Paul says to us that we are not far from God. And God, in fact, he is not far from us since um, it is in him that we live, we move, and we exist. What we must come to realize is that God does not really need us to love him day by day by day. No. Simple steps, moment by moment by moment. God's presence can be experienced every moment of our lives. And we come to know that through our understanding and the, the pursuing of our hearts, that God loves us and God's presence is always with us. His presence is always in the universe, regardless of if we do good or bad. His presence is there and we must work, we must do our best, I should not say work, but do our best to become aware of that presence in our lives. My dear friends, if we can do that, I am guarantee you that you will experience God. 
we are not here. Um, it's not a matter of um, having these obstacles, but a matter of recognizing God is with me now. Every moment of my life. Oh God, help me. Help me, Lord. Help me to stand still and recognize you moment by moment in everything I do in this life. I praise and glorify you. Let the moment of God fill you now in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for joining me.